Hey, like my Christmas gift. Uh, yeah, I'm really loving this Niner mug. I haven't broken in yet because I haven't had any Slurricane or other beer to put into it, but come New Year's, you better believe it's on because I'm getting toe back. Believe that. But enough about the Christmas gifts. What's up, Niner Empire, TTC, YouTube, and Lion fans, if there's any watching, and I know there's probably a couple. Um, Niners beat the Lions 20 to 6, and pretty much great all around game. First half, I was, you know, a little irritated uh, with the 49ers. They were creating turnovers, but they weren't really creating points off it. The first half was kind of reminding me of when we played the Bears on that Thursday night where we were creating turnovers and not really doing anything with it. Um, but second half, we realized that we had to get the ball to Frank Gore, which we did, uh, whether he was rushing the ball or whether we passed to him. And he had a key catch on a fourth and one where we got deep into Detroit, deep in Detroit territory, and we was able to put the game away. So overall, you know, good game by the 49ers. Alex Smith, 230 yards passing, one TD. So he had a solid game. And my one critique of him is four of his passes that he threw were batted down at the line of scrimmage. And I have been no noticing that lately with Alex Smith with some of his passes. He just gets batted down at the line. And I don't know if it's just good timing, luck, or whether he needs to, you know, get more air on the ball, I don't know. But the important thing is he didn't throw an interception. He, he almost did late in the game, but, you know, it was incomplete. Uh, didn't fumble the ball and, you know, for the most part, played a smart game. And I think that's real big for Alex Smith to help get him some confidence. Um Frank Gore, 152 total yards, uh, four catches for 81 yards. Um, only average less than three yards on the ground, but, hey, you know, he made the plays when he needed to, and, you know, 152 total yards all around that, you know, hey, he, he put in work today. Um, Josh Morgan, another solid game. Crabtree, another pretty decent game. Had a nice 50-yard catch you know, early in the game. So, yeah, offensively, uh, first half, uh, we couldn't really get it going, you know, like we wanted to. But second half, I think it picked up a little bit more. Defensively, they keep showing me that, wow, uh, they created six turnovers, four interceptions, two fumbles. And these guys are just ball hawks. They know where the ball is. They know how to create turnovers. And they're showing that uh, coming into 2010 that this defense is going to be a force to be reckoned with. I really believe that. And I really believe this is a playoff caliber team. I really do believe that. Um, we're heading in the right direction. It's just... It wasn't. It's just not our year, and it's a learning process to where we just have to learn to finish off people. Once we do that, we're going to be fine. But, yeah, back to the defense. Great all-around game. Uh, this man had an interception, P. Willie. Uh, Deshaun Golson had a pick, and I liked his because it was right after uh, he had a pass interference call. He went right back and intercepted Drew Stanton. Uh, Dre Bly had another had a pick right after Frank Gore fumbled. Um, but yeah, great all around of the defense. Um, Ahmed Brooks had a solid game, forced two fumbles. Paris Harrelson had a couple key tackles. Um, Justin Smith was in there, and Matt. Oh yeah, I can't forget about Manny Lawson. He had a great game as well, and. Really don't have much to complain about. Oh, except one thing. Um, the only problem I have with the defense was the penalties they had. I think it was three penalties where, you know, they created penalties and it just resulted in a first down. But other than that, another solid performance by the defense. And 
You know, I and you know I can't wait for the 2010 season because I think, if, especially if we keep some of the pieces together and work hard in training camp, I I really like our chances next year. I'm not talking Super Bowl, um, just making it to the postseason. But you know, before we get to that, we still have one more game against the St. Louis Rams. Very winnable game. That's a game we should win, but it, from what I'm seeing, I could be wrong. I think the Rams have been playing a little bit better of late, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say this game is gonna be a gimme with the Rams. But this is a game we should win. We're a better team than the Rams, so as long as we play the football, we know we're capable of playing and not go Jekyll and Hyde. We should be fine. Well, we're seven and eight now. If we beat the Rams, we'll go to eight and eight, which would be an improvement because we were seven and nine last year. So if we beat the Rams, we'll improve the game, and it'll be our first non-losing season since the O2 season, which was the last time we made the playoffs. So you know, overall, good job by the 49ers, and it kind of sucks that we're not. You know, fighting for a postseason berth, but you know it is what it is. All the cards have been played to where they've been played, so you know nothing to do but try to end this season on a good note. And I think we have a really good shot at that. Like I said, St. Louis. I'm not going to say they're a pushover, but it's a game that we should win, um, especially if the defense plays the way it does and the offense you know, plays mistake-free ball, which is, for the most part, what they did against the Lions today. So, other than that, that's all I got. Oh, uh, before I get up out of here, I want to send a couple shout-outs. Um, I want to send a shout-out to St. Joe Hayes. Uh, he's a Lion fan I came across earlier in the week. Seems like a cool cat. Um, I'll put the link over here. Um, yeah, check him out. And I don't know what happened to Hitman. I ain't seen him since, I think, preseason. But, yeah, check out St. Joe Hayes. And another guy you should probably check out, um, this guy is a Giant fan. And I don't know if he's in Giants Mafia or Big Blue Commission, but he's a Giant fan. Um, his name is The Dog 8 Sports Show. And I'll put his link on the side, too. Um, but, yeah, those are two pretty cool cats. Um, they do pretty solid videos, so... You know, if you get a chance, you know, hit them up, subscribe them, friend them, do whatever you please. All right, that's all I got. Niners 20, Lions 6. I'm always happy when the Niners lose, even, you know, that we're, you know, we're out of the playoff race. But, hey, you know, the Niners win. I'm a happy man. I can sleep good tonight. And... Nothing else to do, but, hey, just get ready for the Rams, and hopefully we can end this on a good note. So, till next time, I'll get with y'all later. Late.